I'm Kelly Oberhauser, and I've put together a three-part video series to guide you through the process of buying a home. This is part one. The first step to buying a house is to get pre-qualified. Unless you have the cash on hand to purchase a home, and that's rare, you will need to get pre-qualified for your mortgage. My job as your realtor is to help you find a home and guide you through the negotiating process. While I have a little bit of knowledge about the financial end of purchasing a home, I leave that to the experts who know absolutely everything about mortgage lending. If you have a lender that you want to use, great, I'm happy to work with him. If you don't already have a lender, I suggest you contact my friend and colleague, Lori Price. Together we have helped many mutual clients purchase homes and I have been 100% satisfied with the service that Lori gives to the home buyer and me, your realtor. Lori, I have a few questions for you today. First of all, when one of my clients calls you for the first time, what information are you going to need to get them pre-qualified? A lot of information. <laughs> Actually, it's probably only going to take me about 10 minutes from start to finish in order to get all the information that I need from you over the phone. If you'd like to apply on my app or online, you can do it yourself at your own pace, but 10 minutes usually will do it. And the basics that I'm going to need in order to be able to get any sort of um, idea of whether or not you can buy is name, date of birth, social security number, and address so that I can pull your credit. And that's going to be a two-year history of your address. So if you recently moved or if you've changed apartments in the last two years, I'm going to need to know that. And then after I pull credit, I'm going to need some basic information about the assets that they have and whether or not they are, um, and what kind of income they have. So whether or not they are hourly or salaried and how long they've been with their employer. Because that's going to give me a really good idea of whether or not I can count that income and how to calculate that income for qualification. All right. Now, how long is it going to take to find out if they're actually pre-qualified? Assuming that I get all of that information and I can have that 10 minute conversation with them, I can get the information, I can get back to them with whether or not they qualify same day. Nice. Yeah. All right. So tell us a little bit about the most common mortgages that most people are using. Okay. The most common three types are FHA, VA, and conventional. FHA is a 3.5% down loan. It does have mortgage insurance, but it is probably one of the best interest rates because it is a government insured loan. VA is available to veterans and active duty military. That is zero down payment and it also has a really great interest rate. The only fee that is attached with that that is special is a VA guarantee fee. And then finally there is conventional and those are backed by Fannie and Freddie and they are the highest interest rate, but they do have mortgage insurance for a little while that then goes away. Okay. So what kinds of financial assistance programs are out there that can maybe help our clients? There are a lot of financial assistance programs. Some of them are geared specifically for people that say are teachers or firefighters or police officers. Some of them are geared toward buying in a specific area. And then some of them are geared toward first time home buyers, down payment assistance, and those can get tricky. There are a lot of different types. Some of those are grant money, they're free money with no strings attached, and some of them are a second lien against the home that have to be paid when the house is sold. Important to know. Yes. Okay. So what is your biggest tip for our pre-qualified clients? I would say get you all of your information into the lender as quickly as possible. That's going to include bank statements and paycheck stubs because with all of that information you can not just you can skip ahead to being conditionally approved and all you are is subject to a property. So there's two parts of a mortgage approval, the person and the property. If I get everything for the person out of the way, the only piece I have to worry about is the property. And in a competitive market like what we have right now, if you're competing against multiple offers, you might be able to close the fastest with that all taken out of the equation and win the property. Excellent, and that is our goal. So as your realtor, I work closely with your lender through the home buying process. 
As you can see, it's very important that the realtor and lender are strategizing and working together to successfully complete your home purchase. After you've been pre-qualified, watch video two to begin your home search.